even despite the Suns um, beating his team in the Western Conference Finals last year, like I've said before, and despite them having just recently beat them um, by 20-plus points, I'm going to say at home, Spurs probably picked up the dub here. Let's find out. Greetings and best wishes for a happy holiday season from all of us at 2K Sports as we get set for this NBA presentation. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony and with us from the sidelines tonight, David Aldridge. It's the Phoenix Suns taking on the San Antonio Spurs. Let's say this is ooh. Looking at the starting five for the Phoenix Suns. We've got Devin Booker. He's out there with the uh, It's not G. Strategy here. I mean, yeah, if you're the if you're the Spurs, passes it to Parker. Do anything and everything you can to Six on the shot take Charles Barkley out of this game. In every way possible. For Steve Nash and Devin Booker to do all the work. Because when, when too much of the load is on them, they just they crumble. You know? um, and, and, and win the rebound, right? Which they, so far, I mean, what was that? Two or three offensive rebounds just now in that possession. That's his first yeah, That's what you got to do if you're the Spurs. You know, um, take Charles Barkley out of it and just take up your time on the offense. Get it, give the Suns team as few possessions as possible. Meanwhile, if you're the Suns, I mean, to come in on the road to get a win against the best defense uh, in the league, I think you have to. Uh, get Devin Booker going, right? Screens, ball movement screens are going to be off ball screens, on ball screens. They're going to be key. Um, and just try to do as much work from beyond the arc as possible with the Spurs team. While they are the number one defense in the league, not a very offensive-minded team. Um, so, I mean, if you can put the pressure on them early with a couple of threes, you know, they, they might feel that, there. and they might he's get even get more of a offensive. Right now, though, they're up 4-0. So feeling pretty good here at home. Last thing you want to do is let the fans get in it if you're the Suns. Ooh, Kawhi stripping Barkley clean, and now Cliff Samuels. On Devin Booker, who he knew could not successfully defend him. Booker's definitely weak link. The Suns D. Clifton Samuels is about to just take it to the rack. He hits the second from the line. Kane's second. Nothing but that on that. First quarter of basketball. Nash. Barkley outside. Takes it inside. Oh, Charles Barkley. Oh, Charles Barkley. Blocks three times in one possession. And David Robinson single handedly forces the shot clock violation. What a fantastic block like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. We've seen a quick start here for the Spurs. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Well, I was able to talk with San Antonio's head coach and ask him what the focus was coming into the game. He says one word, rebounding. If they can hit the glass with a purpose every time down the floor, he thinks they're in a good position to win. Kevin, back to you. All right, David, thank you. So an early focus on crashing the boards. Now here's Duncan following the miss by Tony Parker. Samuels the pass to Robinson. Blocked again. Back to Barkley. Back to Barkley. Sinks the three-pointer. Part of the evolution. The first shot of the night comes off of the three from Devin Booker. On some off-ball action. As I said, it needs to happen. So. 
That was a circus lay right there, man. Just can't seem to find his confidence. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Here's Duncan. Again, I'm about to say Tim Spurs. Duncan. Just that's to Nash. Nash. Suns team in for a long night, you know. Barkley with a screen Good. on Parker with three. I like that Booker. pass there. I don't the like the shot. And the Spurs going the other way now. Still very early, but that's not the start they want. One for five shooting. Yeah. Duncan with a screen on Nash. Oh, that's yep. a bucket, yeah. yeah. The pick and roll is a deadly thing when Parker gets involved like there. You never know what he's going to do. Booker the pass to Najee. Oh, oh, clean steal. They've had a couple clean steals here. Oh, Timmy D? Tim Duncan throwing the alley? Ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley oop. Right. Now, here's Nash. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Even when he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for them. Greg, he keeps so he's many possessions along, doesn't he? Oh, he's going to be a fist bump. Get out of here, here buddy. Every offensive board. <laughs> Get out of here. One in the pick and roll. Jeez, man. <laughs> he just threw it down. He's got eight points on the night. He's got more points than the entire Suns offense at the moment. He's got three blocks, I think. <laughs> Maybe a steal. He's already got four offensive rebounds. David Robinson right now is... To Leonard. Playing on, on another level, man. Back to Parker. On an entirely another level. Two on the clock. And the layup is good. And, and there's a pattern starting to take shape he here. His They're way. working it inside and getting good to the shots old. from close range. Ooh. Nash dishes Ooh. to Barkley. Back to Nash. But, uh, Kawhi's all over that. Here's Najee. Man, everyone's successful. They're moving the ball pretty well. Now here's Booker. But everyone is just playing. They ran him. through the whole play and they just didn't know what to do. They just sat. Going, like, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Duncan with a screen on Barkley. Parker kicks to Duncan. Oh, Robinson. look at that. David yeah, Robinson. A very efficient five for six in the game. They poke it free. Oh, great production. The He's right there. Right now, eight straight from inside. He grabs it. Takes the three. He can't get it to go. And San Antonio easy, easy it. put. Back. I don't know if that counts as an offensive Duncan rebound. Or to Parker. Robinson a screen on Nash. Mm. It's Parker with the mm. drop. Over Nash, Parker's shot is Parker off. Two people. Look, the defense I'm, was I was almost expecting David there. Robinson to get out there and rebound there. Just, just put it right back, you know? Oh, yeah, this is a bucket right here. No help D. And the whistle mm. goes. And the one. basket counts. And a three point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. And look at how the hustle game has been going for San Antonio. Uh, we're seeing some subs, so. Everyone but Saramago comes out it. for, he brings it up for San Antonio. Four point the Suns, game. and everyone the but David Robinson comes out. The three -pointer. And this is how a sword is hurts. Ginobili is outstanding with the catch and shoot. Kid dishes to Johnson. Except but Purdy, who's usually David's backup, is out Mr. with Davis. Launches a three. Four at the same time here. San Antonio. Johnson outside. He dishes it to Gervin. I would imagine San too, too long here. Shinobi That's going to cause maybe some minor problems for a few minutes somewhere else. So Gervin finds Johnson. The Suns are smart. They, they don't foul the for anything. 
San Antonio needs to get off a shot. Great here. rotation. And there's Ruben. That's good. On defense, I mean, it just wasn't. Justin. It just wasn't Excellent fast enough. All around performance so far. Hence the big lead. They got off to such just a wasn't fast enough. And that can keep you energized throughout the whole game. And he could Ooh. not get that one to go. Out of contact. He goes over foul. the line for two. On mm -hmm. Open. Always and been now they get the better attracting right? contact. Kid mm -hmm. reads defenders so well and always yeah. able to compromise. Both teams will make substitutions. Here in Saramago. Both free throws good from Kidd. Spurs is as close to a sure thing, thing as you can have at the Larry free throw line. Instead. Davis against Johnson. Hope loose. Ginobili the pass to Keenan. And the amount of offensive rebounds. There's a screen. The, the Spurs have gotten. That's good. And Johnson crazy. with the assist. And the Spurs lead by 10. And defensively, they've been a step slow here to start. Outside, Davis. There's the pass to start. Oh, come on. Hey, putting that jumper. in his mouth right there. Close. Close. It off the glass. You almost have to come at Stoudemire this hard inside, but he still pushes past the contact. I mean, at least I didn't say that, you know? Ginobili with the ball. Mm. Sean Marion oh. covering. <laughs> and they have Goofy block. That was, that was luck. That was pure luck. Sean Marion didn't have a clue where the ball was. He was just flailing his limbs. Could have just as easily been a foul. Instead, it happens to be a clean block. That's crazy. Outside, Davis. Stoudemire setting the pick for Davis. And he buries mm. that one, drilling the rim on the way down. How do you stop a good fadeaway jumper? Yeah, that's a trick question. Yeah, that Look at Snowy diving on top of it, bro. Amari Stoudemire with the rebound. Oh, for Gervin to just do that, you know? There's the dish to Kid. If I'm on it, I'm on the take. Trying to get open is Davis. Kid, no good. Just enough resistance to force the miss. Barely. That's one he'll generally make. Gervin in the post. He's covered by Kid. A nice shot by Gervin. Gervin's got five now. And that's wait, just showing wait. off right there, guys. I mean, he is too good with that crossover. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. And, and the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. Now here's Marion. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Good on the triple. I tell you what, it's, it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. Pass to Keenan. Here is Gervin. With Gordy scored the basket. His hey. two attempts. Another offensive rebound like a for the Spurs. They got to have no joke. They got to be approaching 10 offensive rebounds. Marion kicks to Kidd. Stoudemire set the pick for Kidd. Another three for Phoenix. Oh, the concentration from Kidd at the arc. A, a big part of how he stays They got a two for one opportunity here. here. About 45 seconds left. Here is Gervin. Score oh, yeah. The is third after to go. Five shots. And boy, have they come out strong. Really pounding the offensive board kinda... for second chance points. Stoudemire Don't make things quick in the shot clock here. Davis in the corner. And a great mm. assist by Kidd. That was slow enough. This is pretty He's much the last it. possession of the first quarter. Ginobili looking around. And he's fouled pretty Ooh. hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's impressive. Ooh. There Ooh. to be off. Starting or coming off the bench, and Ginobili makes an impact. The, the type Get of the player back. any team would love to have. Urban's actually out. Both free throws Kafka's good from Genome. There's 14 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Hey, Ricky. Kid Kafka against coming Genome. in for George Gerber. Johnson sets the screen for Kid. Here's Stoudemire. Off target on the fifth. So you had to know they were going to go to Stoudemire last out of the first quarter. That seems to be their, their game plan. I think that this, I'm sticking to my original statement. I think the Spurs get this, especially as the game goes along and the Suns get more and more tired and they may miss more and more shots. Oh, yeah. I, I think the Spurs are this one. Oh, yeah.
yeah uh 20 what is it 20 25 point 26 point margin of victory there um it is 26 i'm not i'm not sure yeah, yeah 26 point margin of victory held him to 106 points they barely cracked 100 first quarter didn't the percentage wise didn't look that bad it really the spurs just had a ton of offensive rebounds six in fact uh had 16 second chance points i mean that's crazy uh i'm oh, sorry seven second chance points I, re I read that stat wrong even in the second quarter it wasn't that bad for them 56 percent from three um 65 percent overall they were only down 11 at the half and then it, that's it's, it's when the you know the, the grinding started to happen in there their field goal percentages started to plummet deep into the into the game. Even though their field goal percentages were off on the fourth, they still outscored the Spurs. It just wasn't enough. You know, down 26 by the time it was all said and done. Held to 42%, which is actually pretty average in the league. Um, but for this potent of an offense to be held to just basically average numbers. Um, and then for the Spurs to get the time of possession, they get the, the, the rebounds, especially offensively. Um, was huge for them. It was absolutely huge for them. Let's take a look at the box score. Devin Booker with 22, Charles Barkley with 16, and he usually averages uh, almost 28. Uh, so they really reeled him in and forced other people to beat them, and they just couldn't do it. They, they just couldn't do it. Uh, let's take a look at where, I mean, Steve Nash had zero points. Didn't even shoot a shot. Typically, he doesn't have to. This game, he would have had to because, I mean, Barkley was just, he went 5 of 15. They, they slowed him up. Um, they tried to force other people to beat him, and, and Booker did his part, but everyone else just couldn't step up and, and do theirs. Meanwhile, again, no one ever puts on a, a, a scoring onslaught for this team, but David Robinson had seven rebounds. I feel like in that first quarter, him him only getting credit for two rebounds is crazy because he had two offensive rebounds like in that first possession so that is that's actually crazy um i don't i don't know what 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 they were watching but then also five blocks three of them coming in the first quarter that one possession basically he was out of his mind for them tim duncan with multiple steals and, and blocks tony parker with multiple steals Kawhi Leonard with multiple steals the turnover battle um they absolutely dominated turnovers. We're talking about offensive rebounds. Tony Parker with three. David Robinson with three. Um, Huck Purdy, or Huck Purdy with four. You know, going a perfect two of two as well on the night. Uh, and getting to the line a few times. You know, off, probably off of offensive rebounds. So yeah, I mean that was that was a huge difference maker for them.